Hi everyone! Marina Aldo po sa Indog the Boss. Salamat po sa pag-invite um, sa Buya Bibi para kami ay mag-hold ng medical mission. Ako po si Myrel De Castro. Ako po ay sarap din sa mga batch 90 na nag-graduate kang Nagaling College. Ako po ay nagsusuporta sa medical mission na ilingan lang. Ngayon po ako mapadyan sa Indog Union because of travel restrictions. Kaya yan po ako muna nag okay video para ma-share ko man sa Indog ano ang knowledge ko about health and wellness. So, salamat po at kita ay mag-start na. In between my lecture, I'll be sharing with you what I have experienced uh, in my life and in my own body that you can relate to it na pwede din do din gibuhon para kamo din ay maging healthy and well. Okay. So, um, may una ako mapagsimple. Pero, um, pwede yung hindi ako masisimple. Pero most people, inahapot ko kayo ng question na ini. Tirang taon, gusto nyo magbuhay dito sa mundo. Dahil ako, kung ako ang hapot ko nyo, I want to live as much as 100, 120 years old. Pero garibay na naman maabot ka ng mundo na araw ka halawig. But then, God designed us to live forever. Did you know that? So, God has designed our bodies from the time He designed or He created Adam and Eve na maging mm, mabuhay forever. Walang forever, but God wished us to live forever. Okay? So, share ko lang sa Indo, sabi niya ni God, our body is the temple of the living. So whatever, you, whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Now, how do we do that? Paano, ba, paano ito ba yan mahili mo? Um, kano ako dating mahilang mo na aki, na ikaw din aram kung paano ko bibo mo na ihil ang saliri, saliri ko. And it's amazing, nung naalaman ko na ang body na pala is designed to heal itself. So, paano? Paano ka nga i-heal ang sabihin ka nga mo? First, our mindset. Okay? So, everything starts and ends in the brain. This brain was very cleverly designed by God to control everything na nasa labas ta. Ang utak ta, yan din ang center of the Holy Spirit, especially is this frontal lobe, which is designed para gamitin ta na mag good decision. So, ginagamit ta ang frontal lobe, iling sentido para mag-decide, para mag-isip or make judgment, and para gamitin ta ang satuliang will to do good. Okay? Pero kapag nag-shutdown in sa tuyang sintido, sintido ko mo, hindi sinasabi, pero that is frontal of our brain, we cannot make good decisions. Okay? So, paano ito paggalingon ang lawas na? Or pa-heal ang lawas na from any diseases? First is we have to have a clear mindset. Let's say, tirang taon mo gusto mabuhay. Anong naiimagine mo pag ika gurang na? Ikaw ba ay mahilamon? O ikaw ay makusog pa din hanggang sa ikaw ay apo doon na ka sa tiyang creator na para ika ay mag-rest. Okay? So, our mindset matters. Kung ako ni Inot na nag-change kang lifestyle, I made the point that gusto ko gusto kong dain na ako maghilang ni Raray. I was having so much trouble with my kidneys. I have hypertension, I have gallstones, I have fat liver, and I have diabetes. Habo ko man magparainom ki maintenance. Taaram ko na ang maintenance either ganunun ka na sa kuyang liver or ganunun ang sa kuyang kidneys. So sabi ko sa sadili ko, I have to make myself But how? How do I make myself well? I have to make it a goal to find out ano ang kaipunan ko ka 
tanon, isipon, gibugon, para maibalik ko sa dating maray na sistema at sa kuyang hawas. Kasi ang hawak ta, grand machine, na kapag kinulang yan ki tornillo, or kulang yan ki oil, or kulang yan ki water, na kaipuhan, magbabagdang ang sabunang hawak. Minsan kasi, kita, ang iniisip na lang, yung day in and day out. Matrabaho, maulik sa harong, makaon, yan ang iniisip ka. At the ita na iisip, nakaipuhan ka pa ng alagaan, ang sabunang hawak. Minsan na iisip ka ba na, how oh, kailan? Yan man sa nang hospital, yan man sa nang magpapadali man sa nang magpadoktor o mag-alang kinisata. But did you know that ang mga pigala, ang kasalamas ka, maski gaano kagaling kang bulong, dahil yan magbabalik unless na ikita magpapagaling ki lifestyle. Okay, so mindset first. Let's make it a goal that we should exercise our mindset. How do we do that? How do we do that? Let's make an active positive and creative mindset. Let's say, for example, ka ito, matabahan ako. Sabi ko, hmm, the e, ako na gayad na payat. Pero sabi ko, pang pumayat ako, the e ko ka mapapansin. And, I was able to do that, but I did that. I wasn't even able to do what I said na hindi ko papansin doon ang mga tao kilala ko. What I did is I actually shared my experience and how ako naging payat. Okay. Now, dahilan yan sa pag-lose weight, dahilan yan sa pag-payat. Kundi, paano ko nahalit sa mga hilang ko kayo? So, first, we have to make it a goal, make it a mindset that <clears throat> kita ay maging marahin ang hawa. Number two. Second is <laughs> Sorry, self talk. Self talk is very important. Na nag meditate na kita, inisip na 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 ang God or si God, na wag kita ng maray na hawak. Pero kay Tuhan taman, magibong kiparaan para sa tuya. Self talk is very important. Na ang self talk, <clears throat> karo niya kay ni, minsan, di ba, nag-goal kita, pero pigit tara man tao sa ita, hindi ang ibong mo. So, when you speak to yourself positively, nagre-record iyan ng isa to niya sa utak ka, naaalala ka na hindi pa lang sumusot ang libuhon. And when you continue to talk kung anong gusto mong libuhon na maray, ang utak ka nag-respond at ang mga kamuka nag-hirap. So, sabi kang studies na ang tao daw na kaming nag-communicate sa sagiri niya are most of the time, successful in everything that they do. So, practice on ta yan, mag-isip mag kita na yung maray. Sabi pa nga sa, ano, sa Bible, um, um, <coughs> sa Philippians 4.8. So, whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, and excellent, think on these things. Just just think, but talk on these things. Okay? So, self-talk is very important. Dahil ko mapag-isip ko lang sa sabihin niya na, hmm, gawin niya buwa, pigakaurod ang sabihin niya. Self-talk is very important if you want to be successful in everything that you do. Pabayaan niyo rin ka na na magkaroon ka na magkaroon ka na pa. Pero, dahil mo kang magkaroon ka na pa. You could even talk to yourself while you are like, just thinking. Okay? Next, sleep. Sleep is very important. Dahil ka mo pwede ay magturog. Kasi pag may kita magturog, galing magmamaga ang utak ta, magmabad mood kita, ma pwede kita ma-accidente, at pwede din magkainin kita ng other diseases like hypertension. Okay? So, ang sleep deprivation, mag-trigger yan kita na kung nahilang. At saka, especially yung immune system yung magmabagdang yan. Lalo na kung yung COVID, sabi nga, pag ika ay ay nagturog, ay kulang ka sa turog, maano ang sa ibang immune system, pwede kang lukutan kang COVID na yan. Pero, madali man sa rin yung treat. Just live a healthy lifestyle. Sleep for 8 hours a day. 
and um, make sure that you sleep in a dark room. Why? Because when you sleep in a dark room, your melatonin, that's a hormone that is an anti-aging hormone, gives you a better skin, a better health, and it actually stops aging process. So, kapag ka mo naturog na maray na tamang oras sa banggi in a dark room, sabihin, nag nag-detox ang hawak mo doon, nagkakigun yung cleaning or genitorial work during sleep, that is helping you become healthier. Okay? So, kapag naging ka mo nagturong, ang nangyayari is, nagkikrave ka mo for so many things sweet and sadly. So, para ma para ma-prevent mo doon ang parakaon, magturong ka mo na maray. Okay? Next is, you know, mint tubig, hydrate, drink water. Now, how many glasses of water do we need to drink a day? Hmm, sabi nga, six to eight glasses. But it depends actually on how big or how, uh, what, I mean, the size of your body. Most of the time, we recommend eight glasses. Or our body can take up to two liters of, of water a day. Pero it also depends on our size. So most of the time, kailangan mo weigh in and measure your uh, water intake by doing this. Your weight in kilos times 0.33 is the water intake that you need. Now, how do you drink those water? Hindi ka man pwedeng mag-inom na gano'ng glug-glug-glug-glug lang. Sararoan lang na inuman. So what you do is two glasses of water in the morning that's about 500 ml. 30 minutes before meal, another one glass or 250 ml. After the meal, another 500 ml. And then in between meals, para na ikaw para stop before you even try to put something on your mouth, mag-inom muna. Okay? So mag-inom, and then mag-inom, mag-inom, mag-inom. Mag-take ng pinari. Sa ikaw mo or whatever snack that you have. Pero most of the time, pag kang nag-inom, minsan uh, naman waraan na kita niya. Why? Because our brain doesn't even know whether you're really hungry or thirsty. So, to check kung talagang gutom ka mo or uhaw lang, first, drink water or hydrate. Yung ito pag-isip mo na sige mo sa ihi, sige sa Sige, sana nindo ang kakapundo. Ang pinaka-importante is pag kita naginom ng tamang water, ang sa tuyang kidneys, naninigan, ang tulatan na naninigan, at pag kamukulang sa tubig, ilingon nindo ang ihi nindo, yellow. So, make sure that you drink water or enough water a day and your baby is clear. That means your kidneys are functioning. Okay, next is safety. Make sure na kita kapag um, trabaho, hero, make sure na di kita magkakaibang aksidente or mag-tip-tip off. Now, kung maray ang turong ka, medyo magaling ang balance na. Now, importante ang termin na, 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 na po protection ng tao sa kuyang payo. So when we are, let's say, for example, riding a motorbike, make sure that you wear a helmet, or when you're riding a bike, you wear your helmets. And sa araw, ano yung ilong sa mga bagay na pwede mong hulog sa ilong mga payo, or when you are like in the in the farm, pag nasa farm ka mo, ano yung ilong sa mga, or makrayo ka mo naman sa ilong mga, pwede mong hulog na yun. Kasi aksidente is always aksidente, nagayin mo yung araw mo, or yun yung mangyayari. But then, if you're always mindful of your body safety, then may itang maray ang hawa. Okay? So, first, protect your brain, and then your body comes next. Okay? So, hindi lang yan sa mga nahuhulog or mga aksidente. You should also protect your brain from excessive radiation, especially sobrang pag-ampang, sa TV, at sa cellphone. I-control nindo ang pang-cellphone, especially at night. And ang cellphone at ang TV sa banggit, 
po mga alas 11 na or na alas 12 na naka-on pa yung mga blue lights na yan, maapektuhan ang skip window, maapektuhan din ang mood window kinabukasan. So, that's also um, part of making your brain and body fit. Next, of course, we have to have a physical activity like exercise especially. So, physical activity uh, is also is very important but exercise is a planned activity. Make sure na mas kikita busy huno sa sarungan daw kahit 5 minutes a day maigwa kitang stretching, dancing or moving, walking para ang sabihin circulation mag-improve at mag improve din sa their muscles and joints which are also very important in living healthily. Ang exercise po ay it helps also our mood it helps our intelligence. Children who are not exercising, especially now, na may mga nak-homeschool na, na mga aki, kung naisip na ng hero, maluya din ang function ng utak. Why? Because ang, ang circulation ka kapag naging kita nag-exercise, nakaklag din yan. So, kapag nag-move kita, ang circulation is free-flowing, ang brain ka is well oxygenated, mas, mas better ang sabi yung pag-isip, mas better ang function ng head. And, hindi lang yun, ang saktuyang, hinaon, nadakulo, na tinapay, rice, at mga carbohydrates ay natutunaw at nagagamit kang nawas as energy. And it also helps in giving nutrients sa mga parts or vital parts of our bodies na nangangaituhan ki nutrients. Okay? So, when we don't exercise, our brain cells also shrinks. Nag, ano nga kani? So, dendro, uh, this is dendrites and access and dendrites. Okay? So, kapag kita da in exercise na si shrink ang sa to niya, brain cells. At kapag nag-shrink yan, medyo, abot na kita rin makakalimutin or da itan maalala so, sa to niya mga inadala. So, make sure to exercise so that our brains will be active as well. Next is that make sure that when you exercise, you stimulate your brain. So apart from exercising, na body exercise, pwede kita mag-exercise sa sa brain by reading. So you can use any book, especially the Bible. The Bible is very important. And, uh, exercising our brain, so mapapaisip ka. So, when we continue to exercise our brain through thinking and understanding, we will be able to increase the size of our brain cells. Okay? Now, engage in reading at least 30 minutes a day. 10 to 30 minutes a day is actually okay. Uh, next is some Ang iba dyan, habu ang painit, nakainito. Actually, sunlight is very important to our body in synthesizing our calcium and of course, helping improve our mood because people who are not exposed to sunlight most of the time uh, experience this uh, seasonal affective disorder. So, nagkakaigwa sila ng depression and uh, yun pala, akala nila kung ano yung problema nila nakakaisip ng mga negatives yun pala, kulang lang sa sunlight so expose yourself sa sunlight at least 10 to 15 minutes a day especially those who are dark skin they have to expose in the sun for longer up, for longer minutes hindi naman siguro hours or minutes para mas maabsorb sa sunlight so, pinaka importante na lumagluwas kita in the, in the morning and face the sun. Chase the sun. You can walk at the same time. So do your exercise while facing the sun. And uh, when we face the sun, at least 1,000 different genes governing virtually every tissue in our body are regulated by the vitamin, or by vitamin D. Okay? So, importante magpainit. Ang pagpainit din, hindi circulate niya ang sa tuyong circadian rhythm, which is 
responsible kang wakefulness, ibig sabihin pagmata, sagot pagturo mo sa abang di, hindi re-regulate yan kang uh, yung sunlight na naaanap na absorb to sa lava. So yung circadian rhythm is very uh, dependent on the switching on and off sa sunlight. Okay? So make sure in the morning face the sun. Okay? Now, next is nutrition. Nutrition is very important. Of course, because all the parts of our body needs nutrition. Okay? So, kaipuhan ta magkaon ng maray. Paano ba magkaon ng maray? Sabi ka mga Pilipino, kaon ko mong kimuluto, kada ko na maluto. Okay. Maluto is not uh, rich in nutrients. Maluto is rich in carbohydrates. So, what our body needs is carbohydrates, minerals, uh, protein. Okay? Ano ang size ng carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals, and proteins sa kanyang meal? Para po yung kainin. Kung kang gusto maging healthy, make sure that you eat more vegetables, less rice, less meat. Why? Kapag pagkaon ka mo kay more gulay, ang sa indong lawas, na feel so gabus na minerals and vitamins na kaipuhan mo everyday. Usually, ako, pag nagkakaon po ako, before, ako na ako rin magkaon man ito. But when I learned about this, I changed my diet to more vegetables in the morning. It's a big breakfast. So I eat like a plate, big plate of salad or a big plate of nilagang gulay. Kunting isda. Sometimes, day ako nag-iisda, day ako nag-karne yung mungo. Or mga upoy na mungo, upoy na uso. Ganyan. And then, I eat a little fruit and kung gusto ko magpagtikim-kimaluto, kung ko alam ang piliit. Tapos, yan, katanaan ko lang siyang maluto. Kung baga minsan, ang maluto, nagiging reward ko na din sa sabihin ko. But I make it a point to eat more vegetables in the morning and I only eat twice a day. So, yung twice a day na eating uh, ano ko, uh, habit is filled with vegetables na ang effect kaan sa lawas na di ikabasta na gugupo. Okay? So, sa mga tao mong nagtatrabaho sa uma or sa farm, oh yes, you can eat more, but it's nice if mas madakol ang gulay na kakaunan ta. So, mga tigtatanong ta na gulay, kaunan ta yan. Because that will actually regulate everything in our body and that will actually make us Okay? So, kang istorya ko sa Indo, kang Ino, ang pagkaong ko, kasi ano sa na. I'm not, hindi ako nag-iisip, I'm not mindful of what I will eat. Basta lang po, anong pagkaong na nasa table, kakaong mo na yan. Yun yan din na. Ang pagkaon ko, dapat gulay. Dapat may gulay ako sa ampangan ko. Every day, before I go to work, kaya ako nagkakape. Instead, I eat more fruits and vegetables. Actually, more vegetables rather than fruit. Para mag-regulate ang sakunyang hawa. After three months na araw ka ini ang sakunyang diet, my blood pressure went down. Para na akong issue sa fatty liver, para akong issue ng gallstones, ang sakunyang ihi, very clear. At, um, de ako nahihilo, and then, nag-start ako talaga magpaya. Nag-gain back ko sa sakunyang usual weight because of proper nutrition, of course, and other things that I'm doing like exercise, sleep, and, um, just like what I've told you, meditation, self-talk. Okay? So, next is 
ang um, uh, ang sa ang sa kung uh, keep my mind talaga is dapat kami ang mga happy. So happiness is sometimes sabi na ni Linda elusive or nagkahalik pero minsan it's, it's not actually that it's a choice happiness is always a choice so make sure na sa sarong aldaw makuulog ka mo mag-istoryan ka mo kay nakakaulog o nakakataba kay puso we need at least a hundred laughters a day para maging happy talaga ang sarong uta so Minsan, maski di eh, kita na papaulo, mag-ilin lang pamuk yung mga joke or comedy na mga clips para mag-ulo kita na at least 100 laughters a day. Okay? Laughing actually releases yung happy hormones sa brain. Kaya kita, minsan, tawag din kayo, dain na buburang. Ilinun din doon sa mga tao na hindi mag-ulo. Kaya isin na basta na buburang. Okay? Importante din ang sa inyong support network. Paugmahunin doon sa inyong pamilya para kami din ay maging maugma. So, paano maging maugma? It's not about money. It's not about things. But it's about inspiring each other. Uh, motivating each other. So, pinaka-importante ang piliun din nindo ang sa inyong kataramon. Pili ulit doon ang friends nindo, pili ulit doon yung mga tao na aka-associate nindo and make sure that they are all giving us positive vibes. Na positive vibes. So, mga tao medyo lega, pwede nindo yung mas iwasan kung ka mo nabidepress pag-raiin sila. So, iwasan na sila nindo. Ang pinaka-importante, you should always have a very good support network. Helping each other, bringing up each other, motivating each other to do good works and to um, achieve your lifestyle goals and of course to glorify God above all. Okay? Next is stress management. So, kapag may mga tao mo nakaka-stress o may mga bangi nakaka-stress, iwasan. Pangalawa, ba? Kung gain man ito maiwasan, ay i-reframe tayo. Mind reframing is very important managing stress. So, kapag ka muna si stress and may mga tao na nag-gigibo or nagtataog si stress sa inyo, gamito ng isip, terne, at sabihin nyo, hindi ba ay nakakatabang or hindi ba ay makakalibig kang sa kuyang gong. Kapag araw ka ay i-change nyo ang frame of mind. Try to kind of understand, but try to also focus on the goals that you want. Especially if it's about lifestyle, kung gusto nito maging maray ang hawak nito, i-focus nito ang goal ng duluman sa dapat nito ang gibuhon na makakapag gayon ka sa inyong lawas. Kasi kapag nagduwa ka mo sa stress, nakakadagdag yan ki blood pressure na mataas, nakakadagdag yan ki cravings for sweets, nakakadagdag yan ki uh, sleepless nights which are not very healthy. Okay? And yeah, next is let's raise our EQ emotional quotient. Ang emotional quotient is actually, yan ay uh, aano mo nakakontrol ang sa imong emotion at na ikan nagpapadara sa sa imong feelings. Kasi alam mo mga, mga kababayan. Uh, mga taga-pinambak. Feelings are feelings follows thoughts. Thoughts follows feelings. Kung nag-isip ka rin, anong susunod? Mag-uwi ako ba? Mag-ukusong ang mga ano kang dugdug ng mga heartbeats. And uh, what happens next? Mga dami. Whereas, kapag halimbawa, may mga nakakmakaon yung mga pangyayari, sabihin nyo naman, ah, siguro kaya hindi nangyari kasi may purpose or baka naman kasi na hindi na intindihan so, ibig sabihin kang hindi na hindi na hindi 
So, at least mag-isip ka mo na they even do masyado uh, dibdib mo sa mga nangyayari. Uh, deviate your thoughts or reframe your mind na naig ka mo magpadara duman sa emotions na naramdaman yung doon na dagit or fear. And fear is very, very immune uh, downer, sabi na. Kasi fear and anger and anxiety will actually put down your immune system and magiging mas harani ka mo sa hilang. So, kapag mataas ang EQ nyo, maiintindihan nyo or ma-understand, mag-tolerate nyo ang mga taong sometimes intolerable. At, well, mas magiging masaya ka mo kung naiwan nyo sila masyado katakang ki-importance sa mga negative na yung taong importance instead make sure to focus on your goals and meditate meditate pa rin no and last is life satisfaction ano nito ang life satisfaction na yun na nabibilang sa na cool na kwarta na ibo ka mo ang life satisfaction is actually your happiness meter may mga tao na pag muna yun do ka mama pero actually happy sila kung high in sila So, be happy in whatever stage you are. Now, if you want to increase your life satisfaction, let's say, for example, ang sa hiling nindo ang life satisfaction nindo is mong kaibo ka mong haro, siguro pag naging mong nagkaharo ako, sabi mo na, ang okay na ako. Well, what you need to do to increase your life satisfaction is you have to plan out. Plan out your goals and make sure na kung nun yan, bata pa ka mo, may magiginibo ka mo, do something about it. And, ano yan, stare yan, kumbaga ng life success. But, it's not about the money. As per study, sabi nga nila, life satisfaction is how people lived healthily because health is wealth. Because whatever, or however uh, rich you are, if you are sick, maski i-apun mo ang kwarta mo, lalo na pag malala na ang kaso mo, hindi mo pwede baka nun ang sa inyong health. So, make sure that you have to take care of your health and hone your uh, spirituality, exercise your mind, exercise your brain, exercise your body, make sure to eat healthily, drink water, sleep, and have some laughter and play with your loved ones and your friends and that will make sure that you will have a healthy and happy lifestyle. So, hopefully, you may nakutulad kamo sa pagpapatawan po niya and uh, make sure that uh, aalagaan nito ang mga hawak nito especially nga na pandemya kasi baka mamaya pag ka mo nagkahilang diretso ka mo ang COVID okay so take care and always have a mindset of health for living God bless I'm Coach Myrel again I hope to see you again next time bye